Hey, good afternoon. Chuck here with Apple Grains. You know, we're right in the middle of a thunderstorm and it just kind of passed over. So I want you to take a look. Tell me what you think. Let's put together a vertical drain that goes straight down in the ground and also a horizontal drain, which is a French drain. And then you can choose which one you need for the area that's giving you trouble. Okay, let's check our work. Can you see the vertical drain? You can see it's pretty spongy over here, but nothing like it was before. These drains are working really good. We've got one, two, and three, and they're working great. So what's the difference, if it's pouring down rain, what's the difference between vertical drain and French drain? Let's take a look. So this is an install of a French drain, and it's a pretty major install. And right in the middle of the install, it started to rain, just like we get these afternoon thunderstorms. And look at what it did. It flooded that trench. But imagine if there was no drainage here at all, how bad that flood was. It flooded all over the backyard, up into the pool lanai, and flooded into the pool. This is an area that we need a French drain. A vertical drain is just not going to work here. During a rainfall event, water rises in your trench and it comes through at the bottom of the pipe. That's why there's a base of gravel underneath. As the groundwater rises, it comes through the voids of the gravel, floods up into the pipe, and the pipe carries this away. This is called a French drain. This is corrugated pipe and it's slotted. That means that there's holes cut all the way around the pipe. Let's start with the corrugated pipe. We're going to be using four inch corrugated pipe. It's perforated and it's slotted. That means it has holes all the way around the pipe. So you dig that trench and you lay out your fabric. We need to add a base of stone. This is very important. This goes under the pipe. Next we'll lay the pipe and then we'll go ahead and cover all of that with more stone, more gravel. The gravel is important also. Try to use three quarter inch to inch and a half stone. The best stone is number 67, and that is crushed, washed gravel. Next, we go ahead and lay the fabric back across the gravel. Cut it, trim it, and then pin it so it stays secure. Then finally, we'll go ahead and add our sod. If you cut sod off, we're going to put the sod back on the top, and we're ready to go ahead and test this French drain. Okay, so we've laid the sod back and I left a piece of it exposed down here so you can see it. I also have a light inside that slotted corrugated pipe. So it's perforated, has slots all the way around it and I put a light inside there. So let's go ahead and see what happens when we add the rainfall. Trench drain actually works much better than a vertical drain when you're trying to protect the foundation of a home. When your backyard is totally flooded and water is encroaching, coming into the home, French drain is what you need. Catch basins and the yard drain, they are also much better than vertical drain when you're trying to collect a large area of surface water. If you're going to wrap your French drain with a geofabric, I strongly suggest that you try this Stay Green. It's available at Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards, Ace, almost any hardware store. You might watch a lot of videos talking about 4 ounce, 8 ounce, double punched, all these things. Well, that's very expensive fabric. You know, I was never a believer in fabric until I found this Stay Green. I always found that the fabric actually slowed down the inflow of water into your system. And I have several videos showing you how slow the French drain works using this double punched four ounce or six eight ounce fabric. Vertical drain works best when you have a small area that's holding water for days and days or just a few hours after it rains. Especially if you cannot send this to the street. A vertical drain could be the answer to your problem. Take a look at this. So the first thing we're going to do is cut off a section of sod. We want to cut off about a nine by nine section. Just use your shovel. 
nine by nine and pop out this plug set that over on your tarp because we're going to put that back next using your post hole diggers go ahead and dig down to the hard pan got to get down to the hard pan for this to work so we want to get down about 24 inches you can hear me hitting the hard pan right there once you get down to about 24 inches you should be below your hard pan so here's our vertical drain we need a little piece of fabric it doesn't matter what kind of fabric it is as long as it's a good fabric that drains out we're going to push it down into the hole open it up we're going to fill this up with gravel we're going to fill this up with gravel this is gravel by the bag it's inch and a half crushed washed stone you can find it at lowe's or home depot about five dollars a bag really easy to do this you can see i brought the gravel all the way to grade now we just fold the fabric over. Now fold the fabric over. Take your sod, put it back on the top. And we're ready to test out vertical drainage. So I'm going to dig a, one more hole. I'm not going to cut sod. I'm just going to use my post hole diggers. Well, we might be able to put that back. But we're going to get down to the hard pan. Just use your post hole diggers. Try to get as deep as you can. You can hear that hard pan. Hear it? That's just super hard soil. It's non-permeable. It won't let water go through it. If you don't know what the hard pan is, this is a non-permeable soil. And it's like rock hard. So we've got a hole about 24 inches deep. We're going to use another piece of fabric. Just push it in. Open it up. And we're going to pour some gravel down in that hole. Gravel by the bag. If you've been living with these puddles in your yard, especially if they're up by the house or maybe you step off of your front steps and you step right into a puddle. You can do this. It doesn't matter if you're 65 or 45. This is an easy project and budget friendly. Try to bring your gravel as close to grade as possible. Then fold your fabric over. There was a little bit of sod so I'm going to set that back on top. Throw some dirt in there. Now we just need to clean up the area, haul that old dirt away. That's no good, we gotta get rid of that. Let's just see, let it rain, let's see what it does. Let's do one more hole right here. And again, I'm not too worried about my sod. We just wanna get down to the hard pan. There it is. Post hole diggers really do a great job to dig a straight down hole. Shovel works, but the post hole diggers really are a little bit better. Remember, we want to get below that hard pan about 24 inches deep. I'm really excited about this project, and I hope that you guys try this out. This could really change things here in the industry. Yes, we still need French drains, and we need catch basins and things like that, but what if we can solve these smaller problems for under $10? You guys can do this. This is an easy DIY project. I can't wait to see the results. So a third hole, 24 inches deep. Little piece of landscape fabric. Push it down in. Now we're gonna pour some gravel in here. Pour some gravel in.
We want to we want to bring that gravel to grade. Perfect. See, we brought that gravel right up to the top. Fold this over. Tuck it down in. And what I'm going to do here is actually put a grate on the top. So I put a grate on the top. Now all we need to do is step it down. And let it rain. We'll haul this old soil away. So we just had a pretty good rainfall. And yeah, there's some spongy areas. You can see that, but look how much difference there is in this area that we put the vertical drains. That is just amazing. It really did work pretty good. What I want to show you though, but what I want to show you is, remember I've talked about fabric and how it slows down the inflow of water. So area one, area two, we have fabric all the way around it, right up to the top. But where we have the grate, watch this. This is amazing. This is amazing. That looks like it'll take water all day. Straight into the ground below the hard pan. Look at that. Vertical drainage. The secret is to get below the hard pan. When choosing the right drain for your project, remember that the vertical drain works best on a small puddle, and especially if you cannot send this to the street. If you've got a small area that holds water for days and days, or maybe it just holds it for a few hours after it rains, the vertical drain is what you need. It is very budget friendly. Under $10, you can put this in and solve this problem. But remember, you've got to get below the hard pan to make it work. However, if you have a large area in your yard that is holding water, a French drain, the horizontal French drain, is what you need. This will collect that subsurface water, allowing the surface water to drain away. Also add the catch basins to this system. The French drain is very costly and very labor intense. But sometimes it is needed if you really have that large flood or if it's encroaching into the house. I'm really excited to share all this information with you and I hope that you're able to make a good decision on your project. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. There were a number of comments um, from senior citizens actually about this project on the first video. And I really hope that they gave it a try. This is not hard to do. It doesn't take a lot of energy. You can do this.